Turf by the square meter is one of the cheapest forms of landscaping. But it's important to source a reputable supplier as the quality of the turf you select can make or break a garden. A project that has been designed and built to the highest of standards can easily be ruined by laying poor quality turf. Years of research and listening to what the customer wants has led us to develop three distinct varieties of turf, which we feel covers all grass surface requirements, from the finest greens turf to the toughest sports turf, and everything in between. The aim of this video is to show you how to prepare the site correctly and lay turf to achieve the best long-term results. Every garden benefits from having a lovely lawn as its backdrop and it really isn't difficult to create one for yourself. We're able to provide everything you need to create and maintain a beautiful lawn. Any professional landscaper will confirm that there are two main ingredients required for creating a superb lawn from turf. Firstly, preparation of the site. It's worth ensuring the site is prepared correctly as you can't go back to it once the turf is established. Taking a little extra time and effort at the preparation stage can save hours to weeks of work in renovation at a later date. Secondly, selecting the right turf. Use freshly harvested, good quality turf sourced from a reputable grower. We've worked hard as a dedicated team to ensure that the turf we grow is the best quality it's possible for us to produce. If you need advice choosing the right turf for your particular requirements, our trained staff are happy to help. Your first job should be to remove any plants that are already there. If the site has stubborn weeds, such as bindweed, mare's tail and docks, it may be worth using a systemic weed killer before you rotivate. Leave at least three weeks between applying weed killer and preparing the ground for turfing. Alternatively, you could lay our weed control fabric this is unrolled straight on top of the prepared site and the turf is then laid over it. The grass will root through the fabric but no weeds can come up into the new turf. Whether or not the plants have been sprayed, you'll need to remove any old grass and weeds either with a garden spade or a turf cutting machine from your local hire shop. Next. Help make sure your turf will thrive by preparing a good depth of rich, crumbly soil for the turf to root into. Digging or rotivating the soil to a depth of at least 15 centimetres will break up any compaction and make sure the roots have plenty of air. If you find the soil is too shallow or the consistency is not great, it's a good idea to mix in some good quality topsoil at this stage. We can supply grade one topsoil in convenient dumpy bags, which we can arrange to drop off for you before you take delivery of your new turf. Use a rake to level the soil, break up any lumps and make a nice friable texture. It's important that the prepared site is free from weeds, stones, clods or any other debris. Hard, lumpy objects can prevent simultaneous rooting. Landscape rakes are available from our website and make the job a lot quicker and easier. A good lawn needs a good base. Use your rake or your feet to firm down any fluffy soil. Once you've created a smooth, consolidated surface to the desired contours, we strongly advise raking in a pre-turfing fertiliser, which will help your turf establish faster and ensure the development of a strong, healthy root system. If you're in an area prone to prolonged dry spells or drought, 
then you could also consider ordering water retaining crystals and adding these to the soil. These can reduce the need for watering by up to four times. The water will also be held in the top layer where the newly establishing roots can reach it. Do a final rake to loosen the surface and smooth out any hills and hollows. Once the site is prepared, you'll need to place your order. Make sure you order the turf to arrive on the day you intend to lay it, as it must be laid the same day.